Hey guys, today we're going to talk about something that I've been hinting at for a while, which is the ARP rod bolt stretch gauge. We finally got one. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Fancy, isn't it? So they're about 400 bucks or so, but uh, they're worth it. You know, something that uh, will help you take your engines to the next level. Now, this has all come about because time after time, we've talked about swapping rod bolts into engines and everyone's like, oh, you gotta resize your rods. And in most cases, that is true. If you got a rod like this, let's look at this very unhappy piston from our barra. And it has traditional style rod bolts, all right? So the rod bolts have to be pressed into the rod and they will actually distort that rod by the mere fact that they're pressed into place. So that alone causes them to require a resizing. Obviously cap has to be on, nuts torqued up, and then they resize them on a special machine. We've shown some of that in uh, some engine building stuff in the past. If you look back at some of the, say the powerhouse engine builds we did of uh, the Dart Swinger engine or my Hemi 6, there's been a few others that we've put together with Johnny at Powerhouse, and they sh we show the operation of resizing the rods. But our V6 engine doesn't use that type of rod bolt. It uses these, what they call cap screws, which are just basically a bolt. That's an ARP bolt that goes, the screws directly into the rod itself, all right? So it goes into there and basically tighten it up. And guys have been doing this in LSs for years. They've been uh, doing rod bolt upgrades in LSs because, you know, they take a junkyard LS, they take it back home. They pull the rods and pistons out of it, they regap the rings, they put rod bolts in it, take it out, send it, make a thousand horsepower, run stupid numbers. It's been happening for years. And I guarantee you, none of them are resizing your rods. So, here's the drama. Like, there's two ways of tightening up these rod bolts. You can do them up to torque, all right, which is you get a little piece of paper in your ARP rod bolt kit and basically it says if you don't have a rod bolt stretch gauge do them up to this torque in the case of these particular rod bolts it's 55 foot pounds but there's another method and that is the stretch method so you get your arp rod bolt stretch gauge put it around either end of the rod bolt obviously the rod will be in the engine at this point and then you will zero it all right then you'll remove that Tighten it up a little bit further, check again until you get between six and a half and seven thousand stretch, which is the right amount of clamping force that the bolt requires to uh, be torqued up properly. So the question we're going to answer right now is, does that significantly change the clearances inside the bearing? So what I'm going to do is tighten up these rod bolts to 55 foot-pounds, measure it with our dial bore gauge over here. I'll set up our dial bore gauge in there, see what the uh, clearance is, and then we will torque it up to full stretch and then see if the dial bore gauge shows any difference. And that will tell us, I guess, if uh, Scotty's right or wrong. I'm happy to, either way, I just would like to know for my own personal knowledge, and I'm sure you guys wanna know as well. So, let's get in and do it. All right, so to kick things off, we're gonna re-lube the bolts. Yes, they had some lube on them already, but I'm gonna put some more on just to make sure they're nice and fresh. Get some of that luby goodness on them. I just like saying lube. All right, so we'll get our cap. All right, make sure I've got that orientated correctly, yes. Rod bolt in. Rod bolt in. Slippery little suckers. Too much lube. Yeah, so I don't have a proper conrod vise at the moment, so I'm just going to use these aluminium jaws in our vise right now. 
yes, it's not officially proper, but we work with what we have. So just talk that up. All right, it's not going anywhere. So what we're going to do is talk the rod bolts up to 55 foot pounds. I've already got this set up because I was doing this yesterday on the V6. All right, let's just get them ready for the moment. Okay. I think we can confidently say they are torqued up to 55 foot-pounds. All right, let's get it out there. And I'll get my dial gauge. So we're going to zero our dial ball gauge. Pretty much zero, you can see there now. So now that we've zeroed our dial bore gauge, we can uh, tighten this back up in the vise. And we can do the first of our rod bolts. All right, so I've just realized I do have to make a modification to this because people will notice that, uh, yes, I have already torqued this bolt up. And yes, that would have already increased the stretch on this bolt. So what I have to do is basically untorque it. Okay, which is fine because we, like I said, we've already talked it up to 55. We've got our dial bore gauge settings, but we need to find out the length of the bolt without any torque on it before we stretch it. All right, it is now zero again. There's no torque on it. gauge out well isn't that interesting so what we've got there is seven and a half thou of stretch by talking it up to their recommended specs interesting didn't expect that at all so I would have to in fact back that off slightly to get it within spec so I'll just do that a little bit Give it a test. That's come down to seventh hour, which is in spec. Actually just a smidge under seventh hour. So seventh hours within spec, let's leave it at that. All right, let's flip it over, do the other one. So I'll take the torque off the bolt again, like I did with the other one. Measure its length. Remember it may be slightly different length to the other bolt. You know, machining tolerances and everything. However, it is so close. I will adjust it, but man, that is close. Gives you an idea of how precise ARP is with their machining tolerances on these things. There is a reason they are pretty much the best when it comes to bolts. At zero. Okay. All right. Take that off. So remember there was no torque on that. 
Let's go to 55 foot pounds again. Right. 55 foot pounds. Let's see what our stretch is. Almost exactly the same, which is seven and a half thou, or just under seven and a half thou. So very repeatable results. So what I'll do is I'll knock that down slightly. Oops. All right, just a smidge. And that is now pretty much the same as the other one, which is just under seventh hour of stretch. Okay, so that is talked up to spec as per the stretch method that ARP recommends. So now it's time for the dial ball gauge. So let's just sit that there for the moment. So just rocking that back and forth, and that is coming up zero so it is pretty exact yep that's zero so i reckon that is pretty conclusive do you need to do you know resizing of the rods when you're using cap screws in my opinion no i think we've shown that with the gauges that we have here i mean is it fully scientific don't know but i'm happy to send it with what we've seen here. I hope you guys are happy to send it with what you've seen. And you know, we're gonna basically do the rod bolts in our V6, get Superman up and happening, and you're gonna see it all on future episodes of Carnage.